This Around Wellington.com news spot has been brought to you by High Tech Plumbing and Air, who offers same day service, 24 hour emergency service, and a 100% guarantee that you will be satisfied with their work. Their goal is to be your one source for all plumbing, heating, and AC repairs, plus any installations in your home or business. Call 561 790 5556 or visit high dash tech plumbing and air.com. This video was also brought to you by Joanna and Ben Boynton of Boynton Financial Group, an independent firm in Wellington, Florida. The Boyntons are proud to be part of and support the great community of Wellington with its many beautiful, fun, and exciting equestrian events, including polo. Boynton Financial Group hopes you enjoy this video news spot. All right, so John, tell me what's going on here at IPC today on Sunday. Well, we've got our 3 o'clock traditional game. It's the Ilva Soccer Cup. Lucchese's uh, playing Orchard Hill. We've had three games already today, so we're real excited about how the competition's coming about as we get closer to the finals. That's fantastic. I'm very glad that you pronounced that name for me because I was going to butcher it. Yeah. Um, I understand today's also Lily Pulitzer Day. It is. We've got Lily Pulitzer here. They're here with a lot of gifts and surprises, uh, fashion on the field. We also have Bouve Clicquot. It's a, it's a pink champagne day here at International Polo Club. You know, uh, the biggest upgrade this year has just really been with the fans. We have been sold out out of the past seven weeks. Five of those weeks have been sold out. So the big upgrades are the number of new fans that have come out from Wellington and all throughout Palm Beach County. Yeah. Any future plans to expand? Well, we are right now working uh, with Wellington. We're going to add uh, uh, some new seating right here for our stadium. And uh, there'll be a couple other surprises that'll come about at the end of the season. Okay. It's, it's a great sport. It's probably one of the toughest extreme sports in that I've ever uh, dealt with. I would call it almost similar to an X game. But until you're out here and you see what goes on between the thoroughbred and the rider, uh, it, it's... Uh, it's a, it's a very demanding sport, but what's neat for families is we've got a kid zone, we've got uh, family tailgating on the side, you'll see people out here flying kites, playing bocce ball, cornhole, all those different things. It's become a tradition for those people here in Palm Beach and Wellington. It's just a fun, great Sunday afternoon. That's all. So tell me, what day is the best day for the Wellington families to come out and enjoy polo? You know, really, it's any day, but if you want the whole show it's Sundays and uh, you know it's a $10 ticket 10 to $30 to come out sit field side see the action and feel the thunder all right so Aaron tell me how long you've been doing the catering here at IPC uh, this is about the eighth season right now well you know what I'm super fortunate because this is one of the best experiences that you can ever have on a Sunday I mean who wouldn't like to come out and drink Bouffe Clicquot champagne uh, hit a buffet that has over 80 items on the buffet we have six different unique action stations every single week there's beautiful people everywhere there's fashion there's people with big hats there's world-class polo the best polo in the entire world that you can see anywhere it's a huge social scene it's a huge party so my job is pretty easy sit up a lot we have over 80 items on the buffet we do six different unique action stations every week and some of them are, are a hit every week so we try to bring those back so people can see them again and enjoy them again that sounds great is there an age limit on that candy bar because I might hit that after we're done here I don't know I might come with you okay sounds good right. so Chris tell me about yourself where are you from originally I'm originally from Tampa Florida and I moved down to Wellington when I was 15 okay so what got you into polo uh, it was a family passion so my dad started playing before I was like you know born and then I just picked it up and uh, how big a boy are you because you're 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 a pretty tall guy I'm six foot five. Six foot five. Are all polo players this big? No, I'm I'm one of the tallest guys to play. Okay. So for the games you guys are going to be watching here at IPC, the each player is probably going to bring around nine to ten horses per player here. So that doesn't include the couple extras we have back at the barn usually, just in case of you know if one does not feeling well or whatever, we we obviously don't bring them to the field, so we always have to have a couple of spares. Some backup reserve players, basically. Absolutely. So, is there a favorite horse that you have in particular, or you just yeah. love them all the same, like Dad? <laughs> I mean, you always feel more comfortable or more more passionate about one horse in the barn, and so. Are you gonna tell us who that is, or you don't want to hurt their feelings? No, I mean, I, I've got two that are kind of my favorites that I have, so. Okay. They're, they're, they're neck and neck. Okay, gotcha. I mean, anytime you win a tournament, uh, that's obviously your, your highlight of your season or your, of your time or your career. So whenever you get to be up there with all the guys, 
you know, because you, you put so much passion and everyone puts so much effort into it that it's so rewarding as a team sport to be able to do that together. What do you think of the comment uh, by, I think it's Jeff Wall, who's a, a competitor of yours, that said that we want to take Chris out of the game offensively? <laughs> I mean, is that a, is that a, a compliment, you know? Uh, that the other guys have enough respect for you that they want to really mark you well and go hard to you. Is there anything like that? No, this is, this is actually a great story. Uh, so we have undefended goals in polo, which are kind of like almost freebies. And it's a 30-yard penalty, and I was playing for, you know, Valiente Polo Team, which is one of the top teams here in the United States. And we were playing in Santa Barbara, and as I go up to make an undefended 30-yard penalty, one of my mares gets scared from something along the inline, and right as I'm mid-swing, she drops me right on the ground <laughs> in front of everybody. Ouch. Yeah, that is a little embarrassing. Did, yeah. did at least one of your, your backup players make the goal? Uh, no, the whistle goes, and it, it becomes like a throw-in for you know a mutually fought ball at that point. So my, my own team was laughing so hard that they couldn't even be mad. <laughs> did you guys at least win the game? Do you remember? I think we might have ended up winning, but it was, I mean, that, that memory sticks in my mind like glue. Oh, well, that's, that's funny. That's hilarious. All right. Again, thank you, Chris. Thank you very Appreciate much. It. Take care. Thank you. What are the names of the two horses that you that you have hold that you hold dearly? Uh, Snooky and Mai Tai. Snooky and Mai Tai. Yeah. And are they both boys? Both girls? They're both. They're both. They're both female horses. Do they get jealous of one another? I don't know. I mean, they seem pretty friendly towards each other. Okay, so no cat fighting in the no. barns, right? 